Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 94. So in this tutorial we're going to continue on with our player movement again. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And we'll also go ahead and open up Model Develop. So we have the ability to rotate our character and move our character forward and backwards. Next I want to start working on having our character be able to stray from side to side. Or at least have the movement of moving side to side. So I'm just going to cut and paste the code that we used from move forward. And I'm going to just change the axis again. And instead of move forward, I called mine strafe. I'm going to uncomment the debug. And I'll change the debug log message. And make sure you change the axis here as well. And the next line where we're moving the controller is the exact same thing. Uh, instead of moving forward, we're actually just going to move right. And I don't want it to go on the movement speed. I want it to be a little bit slower. I want my character to strafe slower than he, he moves. So I'm going to say uh, create a new variable, public float. And I'm going to call it strafe speed. And I'm going to make him move half the speed that he moves uh, forward and backwards. So I'm just going to say 2.5. And I'll just copy that down. And where I have move speed, just paste that in. So let's head into Unity. And we'll check it out. I have an error right here. I forgot my F to denote that it's a float. So we'll save it again and come back into Unity. And now when I hit the keys that I have assigned for my strafing, we'll get the message that he's strafing, but he's not moving. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We forgot to actually change the axis here. We didn't tell it what the new axis that we want to use, which is strafe. So we'll just come back in, start it up again, and now we're getting errors. So I've apparently called my axis something different, so that's easy to look up. We'll just go to Project Settings, the Input Manager, S-T-R-A-F-E, S-T-R-A-F-E, I'm not sure I spelt it right everywhere else. And again, we'll come in, start it up. We have no errors to start with, and now when I hit my strafing keys, he moves side to side at half the speed that he uses to move forward and backwards. So we have all the movements that we want in. I haven't done jump yet. Uh, I'm going to save jump to the end. But he moves, at least he has the basic movements that we want. Uh, now we're going to take these movements and move them into their own functions. And we'll have it set up so that we can actually start calling the animations that we want associated with those movements. So we're going to head back into Mono Develop, and I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to create three new functions. And I'm going to make a private because I don't see a need to have these functions accessed outside of the script. So they're not going to return anything. The first one I'm just going to call, well, let's we'll call them turn. The next one I want is also going to be a public or a private void, and I'm going to call it move forward. Well, let's just call it move. Actually, we want, to, want it to be descriptive enough that we're knowing that it's the walk animation or potentially run. So I'm just going to say walk. And of course, the last one, private, void, and strafe. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut and paste these in. So here's the one for the rotate, or turning. I'll grab the next one for walking. And I'll grab the third one for the strafe. 
and then I'll come up here and just call those functions. This way here our update functions a little bit neater. And I'm going to comment out this debug. Now let's start working some of our animations in. So I'm going to go back into Unity. I'll select my player. And I'm just going to shrink these down. And I'm going to open up my animations. Now this model here that came from Fro Games has 76 different animations. And if you notice here it has you know several different idle animations as well. It looks like Looks like it has 16 different idle or 17 different idle animations. Now the animation that I set up as default is basically my idle animation. The animation that my character is going to perform while he's just standing around. And let's actually just start off with the basics. Let's get him to walk. So I want to use walk one. So let's go into my script again. And right here, just below the debug statement in the walk function, I'm going to call that animation. So we'll just say animation dot, and I'm going to be using what's called a crossfade. And then I want to tell it what animation I want to fade. So we're using walk one. So I'm going to open up the Unity documentation. And we're just going to quickly look at some of the animation functions. So here we are, we're in the animation class in Unity. And as you can see, it has quite a few of them. The one we're using right now is Crossfade. So it fades the animation with the name animation in over a time seconds and fades other animations out. So if we just quickly look at it, it gives a few examples here. Uh, here's one similar to what we're going to be using. Basically saying if we're moving, crossfade in our ran, run animation, else do the idle. But you notice up here, it takes a string, which is the animation name, the fade length, basically how long it takes to fade this animation out and the new one in, and then the mode. And if you don't specify the mode, by default, you're given play mode dot stop same layer. So let's go into Unity and see what that line of code actually did for us. So here I am, I've started it up and now when I go to move forward I get a walk animation but it only takes a couple steps and it stops. So let's stop that. We'll go back into mono develop and we want that animation to keep cycling through. So I'm going to come up to my start function and if we call animation dot wrap mode, we can actually set the wrap mode for all of our animations all at once. Now I'm going to set it to loop. Now keep in mind, by doing it this way here, by specifying animation, uh, we're telling all of our animations to loop. So once it reaches the end, it just starts over again. So let's see what that gets us. Uh, make sure I saved it. I did not. There we go. And then when we start up our game again, we'll notice that when we walk, he just keeps taking steps. But unfortunately, when we stop, he, does, he doesn't stop anymore. So let's fix that. I'm going to open up Mono Develop again. And down here where we're saying, basically, if he's moving, you know, do this animation plus move our character. We're going to add an else clause to that. So we're going to say that if he's not moving forward or backwards, we want to cross fade in our animation for idle. And for me, that's animation one. So we'll go back into Unity. It'll re import everything for me. And if I start it up, I start walking. Everything seems fine. I stop, he goes back to his idle animation. I can walk backwards, and I stop, he goes back to his idle animation. Not 
quite it seems. It seems like his leg his legs aren't quite going to where they're supposed to be. But we can fix that. Now this video seems to be just over 10 minutes already so I'm going to call this one uh, done and I'll see you in the next tutorial and we'll play around some more with our animations. I'll see you then. Bye bye.